When a woman gets married to the man next door, especially in the village, people tend to say in the Sheng dialect, Alikang ya giwa sengenge. This is a case with Carol, a beauty product retailer, and Martin, a civil engineer, who lived and shared a fence in the same neighborhood before starting a relationship soon after college. Of January 2011, uh, near my home, he was with his friend. His fr- we ha- we ha- through a mutual friend, a friend of his, was a friend of mine. Having come from the same village, Carol and Martin's roots were seemingly haunting them. We have we have checked everything. Actually, we get that question quite often yeah. about whether we could be related. In fact, when we went seeing the Reverend, he asked us the same question, uh, but we told them we had gone finding out when you're not related at all. If we could be, that's the Adam and Eve. <laughs> It is custom in the Kikuyu culture for the groom to pay a dowry in a ceremony known as Roratio. In this celebration, lookalikes of the bride and the groom are hooded. This got Martin in trouble as he could not identify his bride from the three hooded girls and had to pay a fine. Yeah, I had to pay. Uh, and one of my uncles called Elijah told me, uh, <laughs> help me to pay. Most people in Kenya incorporate a wedding committee, which is a group of people made up of family and friends who voluntarily help in raising funds to help in wedding planning. Carol and Martin are not an exception and are planning their big day on a tight budget. I have uh, a budget of about half a million. Uh, if you come to a committee, we don't, we have not, there are some responsibilities which we never took to them. So on that side, uh, the budget we, are, we have from that angle, if you look at that angle, it's around 400000 It's two weeks to Carol and Martin's wedding. Carol and her maids are here to fit their gown and dresses. Being an avid follower of the Samantha's Bridal Show, Carol gets her polka dot theme for her wedding. A friend of mine kept telling me I should change the theme color because she, she, she's... She's in the lineup. She gave me an idea of white and black polka dots. I thought white would be better. For her gown, Carol is opting for a tailor custom made gown instead of a designer gown. Uh, the reason why I went for a tailor made is I'm very small in size, so I thought I wouldn't find a gown that is my size, especially on the upper parts. We call it the bodies. I thought, okay, I've seen several weddings on, for example, the Samantha show, and I've seen people pulling up their gowns, the upper parts because I didn't want my gown to have straps, any strap at all. These dresses for just a wedding day or? No, we plan to actually wear them after Mm. the wedding. But they look good, eh? They can be used even, not just for the occasion, yeah, even for the exactly. office as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. With a jacket, I think. Because quite black, the dress, mm. you'll be wearing them so often. Okay. And you know the beauty of this color? It's easy to match Much, it with yeah. any yeah. other color. Mm. Mm. gone shopping for gowns online and the cheapest gown I found was 35,000 and my mom is the one who was buying this gown so I was also considering her because I didn't want, she said she could afford something that is up to 25,000 not more than that because the other one was 35 and she thought 35 was on the higher side. So I'm happy with it. I think I like it because it's exactly my size. Yes, I'm happy with it. Also present is Josephine and Francis who will also be in the lineup for their longtime friends. I met him in church and we became friends. Coincidentally, he should be not be, be recorded. <laughs> <laughs> All the other friends that I had met through him were interested in me. I don't know, seriously or jokingly, I don't know. He's the only one who's never hit on me, even for a single day. And he's the only one I've kept as a friend. The others I don't even communicate with him. <laughs>
his wedding would have in November, but she thought after the dowry is paid in April, November will be too far. So she insisted. Insisted. <laughs> <Push>. <laughs> insisted that I do it in August. Oh, the lineup. The, what is, the people it consists of? Initially, the plan was six ladies, six guys. But now, now that it's not possible, I think if there is any matching, one guy will have two ladies. <laughs> It's a week to Carol and Martin's wedding. They are having to visit to the site of the nuptials. We, we had to fit in our budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah we had to cross cut because we had budgeted for like a thousand people. We are having 500. Martin is, however, not taking chances with his suppliers, lest some drama ensues. The fruitful, fertile, lush green gardens, the fresh countryside breeze welcomes us to Gedongori, which is approximately 45 kilometers from Nairobi, the bride's maternal home. It's the morning of Carol and Martin's wedding. Bride Carol is all made up. Her countenance is radiant. Her gown, a gift from her dear mother, fits perfectly well with no added weight issues. Actually, I was not nervous before. Uh, I slept at around 2, um, woke up at 5 to give story to my mom. I've been following her everywhere. That's how tight we are. Um, the, nervous the nervousness has started and I've seen what. When people have, when the other maids have started arriving. <sighs> the whole neighborhood is at the gate charging up in songs of praise to the bride and the family. Carol's auntie is worried that they're getting late, but our bride in her full bridal attire has to visit the washroom minutes before her departure. <laughs> Being a last born and having been her mother's darling and daddy's girl, Carol cannot hold back her tears wishing her daddy were there as she is handed over to her mother in love. Carol's bag full of her nitty-gritties is taken inside her bridal car. This is to symbolize that she has left her parents' home and is not expected to return. Meanwhile, it's all systems go at Carol's home church. The wine-red garland of flowers on the cathedral benches and the ark at the church entrance generously displays the day's color theme. It is time for the ceremony to commence. Martin, accompanied hand in hand by his folks, makes his damsels match followed closely by the page boys.
looks like they managed to get replacements for those who pulled out, hence a balanced lineup. After registering a few memoirs with close friends and family, the newlyweds and their bridal team sneak away to 3S Roiro for their Kodak moments. Upon arrival at the reception, Carol and Martin, the newlyweds, are received by the women who do what they do best in receiving newlyweds. Hiya! As the wedding continues, we talk to our pair couple, Josephine and Francis. Interesting enough, Francis and Carol, the bride of the day, have a history. I came to know Carol when we were a bit uh, uh, grown up, uh, through church first, and then uh, we became very good friends. It was a chain of friends, so we were good friends, me, Carol, and a few other guys. And, uh, up to today we have remained friends, very close friends, but I keep insisting, friends without benefits. <laughs> Wish Carol and Martin a happily ever after.